And what about claiming a whole asteroid as, as a sovereign object? That is outlawed by the United Nations or whatever treaty, yeah, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The United Nations was, was essentially the forum where the treaty came, uh, where this treaty was drafted. And again, I can't remember the exact number of states, but it's a, a majority of uh, countries have signed on to this and ratified this. And even going beyond that, you, it would be considered most likely customary international law, which means that even the countries that haven't signed that treaty or ratified it into their domestic laws still are obliged to comply with it. And then yes, there's an article in that treaty that says that states cannot appropriate uh, an asteroid or a piece of the moon or something like this. Which is is interesting, really, because that's not kind of how it worked historically on the on the Earth, is it? No, the the the, the context for all this was during the Cold War, and so the only the only states that had any space capabilities or any um, potential to to develop space capabilities was the USSR and the United States. 